Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. We have now entered Module 4, Lesson 1, Percent. What does percent mean? Percent means out of 100. So if I had 50 percent, that would mean 50 out of 100, or one half. 50% of a dollar is 50 cents or a half dollar. Okay, so out of 100. So it says here to match the percents with the correct sentence clues. And it says here, I am half of a half. So the one thing I could do is take one half times a half and get one quarter. One quarter of a dollar is 25 cents or 25%, and it is right there. I could have also done 5 over 20 equals x over 100. Okay, the next one. It says, I am less than 1 one hundredth. Well, that would mean that the number that I'm looking for is less than 1%, because 1 one hundredth is 1, 1 out of 100 is 1%. So, something less than 1%, well, here is 1%, but way down here is a half a percent. So, this goes here. Less than one one hundred is less than one percent. Don't even need to do the calculation with the prizes one. All right. Third one. I am the chance of birthing a boy or a girl. Flip a coin, and it will land on heads or tails. Well, there's two sides to a coin. There's two genders when you're talking about boys and girls. That's one out of two, which equals x over one hundred. So now I will show you the proportion setup. And the cross multiplication tells us that 1 or 2 times x equals 1 times 100, which is 100. And you divide by 2, and x equals 50%. So this is 50%. I am less than half, a half, but more than a quarter. So that's got to be between 50 and 25%. And the only one I see here that is, that is 30. 30 is between 25 and 50. I am equal to 1. 35 out of 35. Well, if you took a test and got 35 correct out of 35, what would your score be? It would be a 100. That is 100%. I am equal to 1. Okay. 100 out of 100 equals 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So the number 1 is 100%. This one says, I am more than 1. Well, I have 1%, I have 10%, I have 300%. More than 1 is more than 100%. That would be my 300%. Okay. 300% is more than 1. I am a tenth of a tenth. One penny is one part, is this part of $1. And that is 1%. So this goes down here. Okay, and then finally the last one, I am less than four, a fourth, but more than a hundred. Less than 25%, but more than one percent. So between one percent and 25% is 10, and that would go through. So there's our matching to get a feel for what these percentages mean. Now the opening exercise says to color in a grid to, the, to represent the following fact fractions. So I'm going to pause the video, or you're going to pause the video hopefully, and do these problems, and then unpause the video and come back and see how you did. So, here we go. And we'll do A. Now, the first thing I'm going to explain is that there are 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which is 10 rows of 10, or 10 columns of 10, or 10 by 10, which is 100. So these are 100 square grids. Okay, so we know that there are 100 squares, and percent is out of 100. So if I if it says to color in the grid to represent the following fractions, 30% would be 30% um, would be three rows of. Let me try to do this all at once. 30% would be three rows of 10. Okay. So if I were to shade that in, that was a little bit large. So let's get rid of that. All right, so if I'm going to shade this in, 
Maybe I don't want to use that type of thing. I want to shade in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so on. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So I'm going to shade in 30%. There's my 30% shade. This one says to shade in 3%, 3 over 100. So shade in 3 out of 100 would just be shading these three. Okay, and you can start anywhere. It could be these three over here. It could be three in the middle. It doesn't matter. Okay, now this says one third of 100. Okay, think about that. One third. Well, what is one third of 100? One third out of a hundred. Three out of a hundred, that was easy, that was three. One third out of a hundred would be three out of a thousand. So I'd have to break each square up into a, into threes. So one third of one square would be one third of one hundred. Okay, example one. Use the definition of the word percent out of a hundred to write each percent as a fraction and then as a decimal. So 37.5% is 37.5 over 100, but we don't want to use decimals in fractions, so I would change that to 375 out of 1,000. I would multiply the top and bottom by 10, and it says also as a decimal. Write each percent as a fraction and then as a decimal. Well, this one was a decimal, so it's just read 37.5%. Okay, so 37.5%, if we are going to convert a decimal, convert to a decimal, we have to move the decimal two places to the left. So 37.5% would be 0.375. Just move the decimal two places to the left. Okay. 100% would be 100 over 100, and as a decimal it would be 1.0. Anything divided by itself is 1. 110% as a fraction would be 110 over 100, and that would be 1.1 as a decimal. 1% 1 as a fraction is 1 out of 100. As a decimal, it would be 0 0.01, or if you will, 0 0.01. If you want numbers in front of the decimals, that's fine. Just put a zero in front of the decimal. And then finally, one half of a percent as a fraction would be one half of a hundred. Okay? Converting that to a decimal, it would be zero point. Now, a half a percent is point zero, point zero. Zero five. Okay, two decimal places that'd be five percent, fifty percent, five percent, point five percent. So we have to move the decimal all the way out to zero point zero zero five as a half a percent. Okay. Example two. It says to fill in the chart by converting between fractions, decimals, and percent. Show your work in the space below. So they're giving us one value and we have to convert around. So 350% as a decimal would be 3.5. Remember if we had a decimal here and we move it two places to the left for percent, that gives us 3.5. As a fraction, that would be 350 over 100 or 35 over 10. Or we could reduce this all the way down to 3.5 as a percent, which would be 3 and 1 half, or 7 halves. Okay, 0 0.025. Now, if I move the decimal two places to the left to go from percent to decimal, I move the decimal two places to the right to go from decimal to percent. So if I move this decimal one two places to the right, I get 2.5%. This as a fraction is going to be, out of 100, it's going to be 2.5. 0 0.025 as a fraction would be 25 tenths, hundredths, thousandths over 1,000. 
and 5 will go into 25 5 times, 5 will go into 1,200 times. Okay, and then that will reduce even further to 1 over 40. Okay, converting 1 eighth to a decimal. One times eight. Eight will not go into one, so I have to convert it to ten. I had to add a zero. So eight goes into ten once. One times eight is eight. Ten minus eight is two. Bring down another zero. Eight goes into twenty two times. Eight times two is sixteen. Subtract four. Bring down another zero. Eight will go into forty five times. So the answer is point one two five or 0 0.125. Move the decimal two places to the right for a percent, and 1 eighth is 12. 1 eighth is 12.5 percent. Okay? Don't forget this little trick that 1 eighth means 1 divided by 8, and you can get it a decimal by just doing the division. Okay, this exercise class card activity I'm not going to do in the video. I'm going to continue, and that is the end of lesson one. Go do your problem set.